Hi guys, Josh here. I hope you're well. It's just a quick video where we're going to run through how to use the 13 week cash flow forecast. So, the first place to start really is to get it downloaded off Dropbox, save a copy locally so you don't lose any of the changes that you make. Um, and then really we're going to work from the top here and just run through kind of what your what your current cash is at the moment. So get a list of all of your different bank accounts, um, what the cash balances are and enter those here. If you've got any more cash balances that you're going to add, just simply insert a row um, and that formula there will automatically update to include that. Um, you obviously can delete the row here. So this is going to give us our opening cash posi uh, position, essentially all of the cash that your business has got at the moment. This is definitely the best place to start when it comes to a cash flow forecast. So this number here is literally going to go, that's going to go straight down to that box there, which is your starting cash balance. Um, and then we can get started with adding all of the cash inflows and the cash outflows here. I've included this bit at the top here, and this is, a, this is just a summary of your cash movement. Um, and it, it based on the formulas here. So you see here, sales. So it's quite simple. We've done it on a week by week basis, so you can keep enough detail in there. So sales, just type in what you think they're going to be. 500 for this week, 700 for next week, for instance. And as you gradually build those out, you can see all of the numbers are automatically changing off the back of the formulas that we put in there. So I won't bore you guys to death with entering all of the numbers, but you can see here that's how that works. So the items to include are anything that's going to be an actual cash movement, so cash in, cash out of the bank. So for this, we look at any interest income you're going to get, so any cash due from invoices. So if you have already issued £10,000 worth of invoices last week, great, um, and you expect to, say, receive £5,000 worth of those invoices, they're going to get paid this week, that's fine, include that there. If you're fortunate enough to get some of the government grants that's available, so the £10,000 grant for the small business rates reliefs um, or the £25,000 grants if you're in the hospitality sector, that's great. That's included in the cash flow. Um, it's probably quite prudent to include it kind of mid to late April because it will take the government quite a long way, uh, while to pay out all of these grants. Any loans that the business is going to get. So if you're looking at funding now, which is definitely the best time to look at getting it, um, simply because as soon as you go to the bank and you're in a bad position, your company doesn't look well, they're going to be less um, less keen on lending to, to you. But if you go there now or you've got a strong balance sheet, strong cash reserves, and it looks like you don't frankly need the cash, that's when you're going to get a better rate. So if we look here, say you go to the bank next week and you get a £50,000 loan out to the business, that's great. Um, we'll include that there. And personal cash injections. If you've got any savings at all um, and you're going to put them into the company just to ensure that it can weather through these terrible times uh, and it's more resilient, we can put that in there as well. Um, so you just put £5,000 in there. And now we're going to look at the cash outflows. So this is everything that leaves your bank account each month. So whether that's your accountancy fees, advertising, marketing, bank, any donations you're making, dividends or drawings. So if you're taking money out of your company, Make sure that's included in there as well. So this won't include anything such as all of your uh, any prepayments or accruals or any tax allowable deductions that we put through just to try and make sure that you're being tax efficient. This is simply the cash in the business and cash out of the business. Um, so any loan repayments, this for cash flow purposes, we include the whole amount. So that's the interest element and the repayment. So it's the whole whole amount that comes out of your bank account each and every month. Because um, in times like this, all the accountancy stuff, knowing your accruals and if they're gap, that doesn't matter. It's simply cash. Um, so as you can see here, we'll probably we'll model this out so we've got a complete picture. So loan repayments are five hundred per month. Heating thirty nine pound a month. And as you can see, we can start to build that out. Lease payments nine nine nine. Yeah, okay, so that's the gist of that. So fill this out, be as accurate as possible. The best place to start would be your accounting software. So fill that out, be as accurate as possible. The best place to start really would be your accounting software if you use it. So if you're using Xero already, that's great. Look at your chart of accounts and your profit and loss um, and basically get these mapped out to exactly how they are on your Xero. If you're using um, Excel or if you're not really using any accounting software, that's great. Start with this and mold it to your needs. So if you do have salaries, 
try and be as specific as possible. So break that down. Break put your staff um, your staff names in there. Really get down to as much detail so that once you've built out your current picture based on how things are currently looking, we can then start to plan. So once you've done all this and you've filled it out, you can see that we've got total cash in and then total cash out. So these numbers are going to feed into the formulas up here, which are going to tell you at the, each, at the end of every single month how much cash your business has got. So the main num main line, really, that matters at the moment is going to be this closing cash balance. At the end of this week, how much cash does your company have based on the cash inflows and the cash outflows? Um, we've also got a great graph here that summarizes this. So you've got the gray, which cash uh, crash out. That's fine. That's at that amount. Cash in, as you can see, it varies greatly due to that £50,000 uh, loan we got to strengthen the business. And you can see just the general cash balance there at the top of the business is declining. Uh, OK. So once you've done this, we'd recommend undertaking some form of sensitivity analysis or scenario analysis just to make sure that your numbers are resilient to the changes that may happen. Um, so the quickest way to do this would simply be just to uh, copy the sheet. Copy the sheet and then just uh, rename it. Best best case, best um, expected, and then worst. And then with this, you can uh, play around with the sales figures. So if you think actually, we might only get 250, or actually out of those invoices that we issued last week, only a thousand pounds worth might actually get paid. It might take a little bit longer to get the rest. Um, and then unfortunately we might have to write the rest of them off. So really do play around with it and look at it from a best case, worst case, realistic case, just so that you ensure that your cash position and your cash balances, they can actually withhold this kind of different scenario planning. If you go through your best case scenario and you've got a negative cash balance, then you know that you need to do something about that, whether it's incurred all of your costs as much as possible, whether it's getting extra cash injections or looking exactly what you can do to actually increase your income now. If you found this useful, please do like, share and comment. So I know you enjoy it and I know to keep on doing it. If you've got any questions about the, the cash flow forecast or anything that you want changing or adding, feel free to drop me a message, um, give me a call and I'll be happy to help you with it. Cheers for watching.